Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm excited about this first segment uh, because everybody should be spreading the word about safety. We're going to learn a little bit about what my first guests are going to be talking about. Uh, we're live on Facebook, so I do want to say hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to share the show later on. Uh, my first guest I have with me, Mick Dane, and he's the executive director and founding member of Arizona Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Foundation. And he also has with him Henry Williams, and Henry Williams is uh, a fundraising chairman. You're the fundraising chairman, board member of Arizona Motorcycle Safety Awareness Foundation. And I want to welcome you to the show. Henry, I'm going to kind of let you talk for a minute, and then I want you to bring that over, you know, to Mick and kind of tell us everybody why you're here today. Well, Carol, thank you for bringing us back again. I love being on your show. You. We started in 2011. And we felt that not enough was being done to educate motorcycle riders and to promote safety and awareness. We've seen so many accidents. You're, you're driving down the road and a poor guy's laying on the ground. And what could he have done or she have done that would have prevented this accident? Well, this is what we're here for. And Mick is the founder, one of the founders. Uh, tell us more about that. What, what could we have done? You betcha. Thank you, Carol, for having us. Uh, when we started AMSAF, we started because we knew some folks that had been involved in a fatal motorcycle crash and also an individual that had lost his leg. And we didn't feel like enough was being done. And so we really started AMSAF to promote that and get, uh, and we have three programs that we promote on, 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 uh, on a monthly basis. One is to get people into motorcycle training. There's about 60% of those riders out there that do not have a motorcycle endorsement for one reason or another. We want to help those folks financially. Secondly, is we want to help people get into a helmet, those that want to wear one or in, are in need of a new one. And the third is, as Henry mentioned, is there is folks out there that come upon an accident or are involved in one and not sure what to do. So we sponsor a class that is five hours long that helps people understand what to do, what not to do, and to be safer out there. We want to help reduce crashes and fatalities here in Arizona. That's our number one goal. And I think with the programs that we do and the event that we have coming up, uh, we can help in that. Well, you're talking about an event. Let's just talk about what that is really quickly that's coming up. So the event is called the Ride for the Long Haul. It's on April 27th, and it goes from 5.30 till 9.30 at night, and it's going to be at the Phoenix Marriott in Chandler. And we have a star-studded, fun event. It's called the Hooray for Hollywood. It's a Hollywood theme. People are going to be dressing up. We're going to have all kinds of auctions and giveaways and prizes and contests. And we, we're doing this because we want to bring attention to this community of motorcycle riders. And not just that, we want to prevent distracted driving. And our program is going to talk about that. And we, we just want everybody that shows up to leave going, I better keep an eye out for motorcyclists. I better not tailgate them. I better, you know, recognize that they're not wearing the same protection a car has. You know, I love everything you're saying. I keep on writing and writing and writing because I always write notes while people are talking and I can't stop writing because, you know, my mind is saying this. A lot of people, you know, I don't know why, but they blame the motorcycle riders a lot, and it's really not always their fault. And I think what you're talking about, being be, bringing awareness to people, mm -hmm. being more attentive, right, to them. Also, uh, you said distractive driving. Oh yeah, distracted driving. Well, you know when you're in the car, you have all these things around you, the person next to you, the, the entertainment system, whatever's going on outside. It's really easy to take your eyes off the road and be behind a motorcycle, and then when you look up, you are right behind that motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, if, if, you, if you think about an accident, the police are there, health care is there, the individual ends up in rehab, insurance is involved, and legal is involved. Those are all the individuals from the community that are involved in our event because they want to help. We can't do it alone, but together with the community, we can make a difference and we can help save some lives. Let's all spread the word about safety. That's what I said when I first started. I've said it on your Facebook page, and you can watch us live here uh, You know, doing this show on my Facebook page, which is Networking Arizona, and go there and share these videos. Share what you see here because it could save someone's life. But the foundation offers so much, and I want you to talk a bit about, about that. 
Well, with AMSAF, and you can check out our website at www.amsaf.org, amsaf.org, multiple pages, you'll see the things that we offer. We have things that are involved in the community. A lot of the police departments, they do free, listen to this, Carol, free motorcycle training. They'll have a day where they'll have you come out, and they'll teach you some of the things that are going to save your life. I personally have benefited from learning some maneuvers that keep me safe on the road. And how long have you been riding? 1985, and I've owned over 100 motorcycles. And he, it, it's all about safety, and it's all about protecting yourself. But when you're protecting yourself, you're protecting others as well. Oh, exactly. You know, the passenger on the back of the bike, the people around me. Everybody wants to leave the house and come home the same way. Motorcycles included. Absolutely. Carol, you mentioned as far as the motorcycle rider being blamed. About 50% and actually a little bit higher of the crashes out there are not the fault of the motorcycle rider. They're the fault of a four-wheel vehicle. You're rear-ending, not seeing them. And so one of the things that we look at, and if you look at our logo, our logo shows a motorcyclist and a four-wheel vehicle. You've got to really respect each other, look out for each other in the lanes. And, uh, and you know, speed is an issue. We talk about distracted driving. Distracted driving is probably the number one cause out there. And we've all got to take responsibility. And that's what we're trying to do is get more awareness out there. If you think about our mission, our mission is to promote safety and awareness and help reduce crashes and fatalities in Arizona. And it's not just a motorcycle crash, it's all of them that we've got to help. The website is amsaf.org, that's amsaf.org. And I want to talk about some of the different things because the programs that you offer they're huge. I mean, especially the helmet one and the endorsement one. I mean, you've got to go check out the website and see all that they really do offer for people out there because they want to keep those, everybody safe, not just the motorcycles, drivers, but that everybody's safe. Go ahead. Did you know that when some people buy a helmet, Carol, they look at it like a baseball cap? What's stylish, what fits, what looks kind of cool? They don't think about the ratings that helmets have to get by the DOT in a company called Snell, an organization called the Snell Organization. We have a program that will allow you to get that for half price when you go through our program. So a $1,000 helmet is $500. A $500 helmet is $250. Why not take the opportunity, if you're going to put something on your head for safety, to make sure that it's going to protect you in an accident? I think that people think that I'm buying a helmet, it's there, that's what it's just going to protect me. But you're saying not all helmets do. No, some of them just meet the very minimum requirement. Pretty interesting. Hey, parents out there grandparents out there. Anybody knows somebody who's been in an accident, a uh, fatal accident? And we get a lot of phone calls from parents wanting to help their, their child get into a motorcycle training class or get a, uh, a good helmet. And one of the things that we offer in our program is a full face or a modular helmet because studies have shown through Snell and some of the others that that will help us. What are well, your final words for today? I want everyone to think about someone that they care about who may ride a motorcycle, who may drive. And that's pretty much most of us. And to think, what could I do? What could I say to them to help them be a better rider or a driver? You really want to check out the website because they offer so much. Uh, what to do, helmets, right? What That's the most important thing right there. And the endorsement. They're going to be having an event that's going to be happening when? April 27th, 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. in the Phoenix Marriott, you're going to love it. It's called Ride for the Long Haul. Go on our site, www.amsaf.org. Thank and, you, Carol. And here's the word, what you really want to do. Spread the word of safety.